Hello viewers, I hope all of you are fine. After a very long time, warm welcome to all of you. Today I want to talk about the photocopier machine and the process of writing to photocopier machine is basically known as xerography. The word xerography is basically derived from Greek which is a combination of two main words, xeros and graphos, which means dry writing. Now let's discuss the very fundamental and basic structure of photocopier machine that how it works and perform its function. Basically, photocopier machine consists of aluminium drum, which is a very good conductor, consists of free electrons and upon that aluminium drum, there is a coating of photoconducting material which is known as selenium. Selenium is a good conductor in the presence of light and um, remains as an insulator in the dark condition. Uh, similarly, there is a light system uh, which is used uh, for uh, copying process and uh, in order to copy a particular uh, page. So light system, uh, there is a light focusing system, there is aluminium drum and uh, there is a negatively charged powder toner, positively charged ink is also there. So these are the and the heated pressure ruler is also a, one of the fundamental part of photocopier machine. So these are the fundamental parts of photocopier machine. Now let's discuss how it works. First of all, when there is a, no page that we want to copy that page. Uh, so before uh, copying, let's discuss the fundamental uh, idea about that. So first of all, aluminium drum, we know that it is a good conductor and consists of free electron. So first when the positive charge is sprinkled on aluminium drum and uh, the light is fall upon that aluminium. So we know that uh, selenium coating uh, is present there and selenium is a good conductor in the light condition when there is a light. So the free electrons of aluminium. Uh, neutralize the positive charge that is sprinkled over the drum. So this is the first stage. Now after that if we want to copy a particular uh, page with the help of photocopier machine for example if I want to copy this one page with the help of the photocopier machine. So first of all we know that uh, there is a light system in the photocopier machine so when the light falls upon this page then the writing areas are basically we know that these are the dark areas and there are also uh, bright areas or white areas are present on the page so in the same way these bright dark areas are we know that the writing areas are shadow areas and the remaining areas are white areas so the image of this page will be uh, produced upon the aluminium drum upon which the positive charge is sprinkled there. So it means that there are uh, bright dark areas or we can say that the image will be produced upon the aluminium drum and we know that the positive charge behind or below the image region is basically there which cannot be neutralized even uh, if we pass light uh, or we fall light upon the aluminium drum so the shadow or the dark areas uh, uh, maintain their positive charge while the white areas we know that when the light fall upon that then the for the white areas the selenium is a good conductor and the aluminium free electron will neutralize the white areas while the dark areas maintain their positive charge so at the same time negatively charged powder called toner is sprinkled there and then we know that when the negative charge powder or toner is sprinkled there then uh, that powder stick with the positive charge and with the help of heated pressure ruler we know that the drum is rotating continuously so when the white page is enter from one side uh, then uh, when the drum rotates then uh, with the help of heated pressure ruler the uh, melted toner which stick with the positive charge uh, and uh, 
maintained by the positive or char positively charged areas uh, will be transferred to the white page and uh, which is our main purpose that we want to write something on page and we uh, gain or we get the particular uh, photocopy of the desired page that we want to photocopy that page so this is the whole process of photocopier machine so again i want to summarize that aluminium drum palti charge is sprinkled over there we know that there is a selenium coating upon the aluminium drum light is passed from the uh, is passed upon the aluminium drum and the uh, dark bright areas of the image of the page is produced uh, over the uh, aluminium drum and the dark uh, or the image areas maintain their positive charge while the white areas uh, cannot maintain their charge and the positive charge is basically neutralized by the free electrons of the aluminium drum while the dark areas maintain their positive charge and at the same time toner is sprinkled over the whole drum and then that toner stick with the positive charge with the help of heated pressure ruler that uh, writing areas are permanently transport to the white page that is our desired purpose so i want uh, i hope you people learn a very basic idea about the photocopier machine that what is basically photocopier machine and how it works so this is basically the fundamental idea about photocopier machine i hope you people like this video thanks for watching and kindly subscribe this channel for further upcoming and trusting video related to the physics related to the nature and also related to the uh, history about different old ancient things and uh, remains so please kindly be in touch with us thanks